Hi, I'm so glad you're here. And today I want to be talking to you about how to calm your anxiety with Bible journaling. And I love to Bible journal. And I do it just about every day. And it, there's something so calming about using Prismacolor pencil crayons to color in what you've drawn or using watercolors or even stickers or washi tape and I'm going to show you a few examples as well as share a little bit with you about Bible journaling and why it's going to be able to calm you down. So I want you to experience the transformative power of Bible journaling as a way to unlock and calm your anxiety with the, cre with the creative presence of Jesus. Now wouldn't that be great to do and if you think you don't have any creativity and you just don't have the confidence that you can draw or do just do it anyway because you'll be surprised at the creativeness that you do have hidden inside of you and also realize that it's not about the art it's about the heart and that's what Jesus looks on and he is our creator and he loves it when we get creative so many women deal with anxiety and to one degree or another we have maybe some area of our lives that causes anxiety and I have found the older I get the more I've had to deal with anxiety and Bible journaling has certainly helped to calm that and there are other ways that you can deal with it in the moment but this is one thing that I have currently been struggling with since at one point about 15 years ago when I was in a car accident if I'm not the driver and I'm in a car and it seems like we're getting too close to the other car that's in front of us I might feel like a little bit of panic inside of me and so that's one area maybe it's when my children when they were growing up or my grandkids climb up too high on a tree or um, on the swings that bars that go above it or something I might feel anxious about it and you know you can worry about the day ahead different things and adding Bible journaling to your quiet time I'm not saying not to read the Bible not to pray not to study it but I often find writing down a verse or drawing about it sure helps and so do you have any of these ways that you are manifesting or showing anxiety? Um, are, are they with social interactions because you're a complete introvert? Or are you going through financial struggles or debt? Um, exhaustion and stress because of your children's behavior, or your grandkids' behavior? Is it causing you stress in your life? And do you have health concerns? Um, for yourself or for your loved ones um, uncertainty about the future I think we all have that to a degree or another making decisions I can just have that when I go to a new um, fast food restaurant or restaurant and looking at that menu I have not seen before and just not knowing what to order and I'm overcome with all the choices um, relationship problems with one of your family members or friend fear of failure or not being good enough, that feeling that you're not good enough, you don't measure up, a perceived pressure to be a perfectionist that you might have. So any of those might help if you calmed yourself down. And one way you can do that is by coloring. And if you if you can't, don't have the ability to be creative, pick up a, a coloring book about, um, about the Lord. You can find them on Amazon. A religious one that is are for adult women and really help you so it's not about the art it's about the heart and I'm going to show you a few of the examples I have I'm using like a spiral notebook just one here I did not get it on Amazon it is not for sale I didn't get it in a normal place I drew these in and then I I used a black marker that is like a Prismacolor marker 
that you can find on Amazon and then I used watercolors to color them in with the paintbrush. And if you don't even feel that artistic, copy out some verses. These are stickers and this is washi tape all available on Amazon. The stickers I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Walmart has stickers as well. And here's another one that I did with stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby. I there. And this is washi tape. And I always, always copy out verses. The verses help to, to help you to hide God's word in your heart. You can pick out verses about anxiety. Here's just a simple drawing, okay, of leaves and little flowers on there. You can see the flowers. And you can go to the blog post that I'll share in the description below and that will help you because you can look at it um, on a computer laptop where you'll make it even bigger maybe than a phone will bring it. But these just show different ideas and ways even if you watch this on a computer you can zoom into the pictures and pause it and see them a little bit better. And some of them are a lot more complicated. Flower, whoops. Flowers I find very easy to draw and then when you take a Prismacolor pencil, they have a softer lead than the, than the lead you find in a Crayola marker. You can get them on at Hobby Lobby, you can get them on Amazon. I usually get them in, on Amazon because Hobby Lobby is too far away. This is very simple. I just did the wording a little bit bigger with one heart over here and this is done with stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby. I like Hobby Lobby, but they're an hour away. I don't go very often. This is one I haven't colored in it yet. And you can see how they, they are done with the pen that I was using to copy verses out. And this is a simple one also where I'll just color the hearts in and make the tree brown. And that way you can see uh, that I just used a pen, something like this in some cases, and or a um, mag, uh, a, a black pen that you can get on Amazon. They're linked below in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube and if you're catching this video in my blog post, you can also open this up on YouTube and go to the description box and find the links to Amazon there. So I hope this encouraged you to try to Bible journal, some simple Bible journals to help calm your heart. That's what I find. Coloring really helps. And if you can't really feel that you have the ability to draw, you do have the ability to color. I know you do. And you just get a um, Amazon, go to Amazon and put in a faith based or religious coloring books and you'll come up with them and there are some wonderful choices. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.